People are being passive aggressive when they use indirect communications that have to be analyzed to figure out the meaning. Most of us are passive aggressive at times, especially if we are feeling angry or frustrated and are unable to express our thoughts clearly. But some people use passive aggressive tactics deliberately in order to confuse, control, and even punish others. Here are five signs of passive aggressive communications. Are any of these tactics familiar? Have they ever been used on you? 1. The silent treatment. Has anyone ever stopped speaking to you or responding to your text messages? Maybe you had an argument recently and this person got upset. Now they are using the silent treatment to let you know that there is still a problem. 2. Subtle insults. You can't be sure when a subtle insult has happened. That's why it's called subtle. For example, you give your report to the boss who says, Hey, this is great. This is the biggest surprise of my week. Why is the boss so surprised? Does that mean that your work isn't usually great? This is how subtle insults can work. They confuse people and undermine their confidence, especially when there is a power imbalance. 3. Procrastinating on purpose. You have probably asked someone to do a favor. They agree, and then they don't do it. You ask them again, and the answer might be, in a minute. But a minute later, nothing has happened. This type of procrastination can be a power move by someone showing you that they are in control of the schedule and that you have no control over them. 4. Sabotage Sabotage comes from a French word that means to bungle. When people engage in sabotage, they deliberately mess things up for someone else. A person using this passive-aggressive tactic might hit the wrong button and erase a presentation or stumble and drop the dessert you made. 5. Keeping score Friends help friends because that's what friends do, right? Well, not a scorekeeper. These are people who keep track of all the favors they do for you. Remember, you owe me for this. And then they pay you back if you can't attend their party by missing your next party on purpose. If you use any of these passive-aggressive tactics, try to be more clear and direct in your communication. Can you think of anybody who displays these five signs of passive-aggressive communication? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for your ongoing support. It really means so much to us. Thanks for watching.